When the Greek army arrived, the Greek population rushed out on the streets, waving their Greek flags. The city was decked out in blue and white, and everyone, Greeks, Armenians, and the Europeans were welcoming the Greek troops. But of course, the Muslim population of the city, the Turkish ethnic element, were very, very concerned. After all, Smyrna had been part of the Ottoman Empire and now that they felt that the city was being taken away from them and from first-class citizens, they would now be becoming second-class citizens. So there was a great deal of opposition and discomfort on the part of the Turks after the Greeks arrived and took over the administration of Smyrna. In 1919, when the Greek army lands, um, he welcomes them, very much so. He's very much in support of the presence of the Greek military presence there um, in, in Smyrna. And for the next two, three years, um, he is, continues to be a beloved figure among the Greek Orthodox and the Greek Orthodox population in Smyrna. You can see though his support for Greek national identity and the Greek Orthodox, he's going to pay a price for that if the tide turns with who's in control of Smyrna. And that's exactly what takes place. Chrysostomos and Nuruddin were old antagonists. The bishop had successfully pressed the British for Nuruddin's removal in March 1919 ahead of the Greek landing, and Nuruddin had not forgotten. Late in the afternoon on Sunday, September 10th, a French patrol called on Chrysostomos to offer him sanctuary at the French consulate. When uh, Metropolitan Chrysostomos went to see Nuruddin, Nuruddin hated him. Chrysostomos declined, saying he wanted to remain with his flock, and as the French force was leaving the Greek church, a carriage with Turkish soldiers arrived and ordered him to climb in. He was told Nuruddin wanted to see him and he was taken to the general's office at the Connick. So all of a sudden when they see Chrysostomus coming down, they grabbed him, they cut his ears, his nose, and then afterwards they gouged his eyes. Uh, they butchered him to the point that he was just a piece of meat at the end. But Chrysostomus never gave up. He always prayed, God, please forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. Please forgive them. As they were dragging him through the street to the Gogotha, which was Triki Lik, he never gave up and nobody knew what happened to him. In their meeting, Nuruddin reminded the bishop of an argument that occurred between them in 1919 when Nuruddin was the military governor. On the last occasion that I had the pleasure of seeing you, Nuruddin said, you were good enough to say I ought to be shot. I have sent for you, Lordship, to tell you, you are going to be hanged. Guards took Chrysostomos into the street where about 1,500 excited Turkish residents had gathered. Nuruddin came to the balcony overlooking the street and realizing that an alternative to the hanging to hanging Chrysostomos had presented itself, said to the crowd that he was giving the bishop to them to do with as they pleased. If he has done good to you, do good to him. If he has done harm to you, do harm to him. The mob dragged Chrysostomos by his beard to a nearby barber shop where they wrapped him in a barber's apron and beat and stabbed him. His eyes were gouged out, an ear and nose cut off. The French patrol watched the scene, the men furious at what was happening, but under orders not to intervene. Eventually a bystander shot the bishop to end his misery. It's a sad, sad moment for the presence of Greeks in Smyrna. It really is, a, it's not necessarily a turning point, but it's a symbol. For those on the ground, 
The Greeks who saw this, they, they realized it's over. In other words, there's really no way of making peace with the coming Turks. The new Turkish presence and control over the city of Smyrna meant that Greeks had no place here and they better get out. And so for those who saw this on September 10th, realized, the Greeks realized we need to get out. If we don't get out, we're all going to suffer the fate um, of our beloved metropolitan.